Hey guys, just a quick update for you today. It's been quite a while since I last did a video, but I've spent most of my time painting it seems. Um, I haven't had another kit come through yet, so I've just been gradually working through painting all the items that I have built. So this is obviously the first wheel that I put together. It's had a couple of coats of primer. Um, it seems to have filled quite nicely. I've just rubbed this one down to give it a final coat before it then goes into undercoat. Now, you can see the joints have covered up quite well under there. I don't know if I explained in a previous video, but on full size, the hubs are cast so all the spokes are laid out and then into the mould and then the hubs are all cast so the spokes are actually cast into the metal. So these are obviously built in a few different pieces so, but the idea is to then cover up all the joins so that it looks like it was one piece. Which looks okay there. Now I'll just flip this over. Okay, here's the other side. Um, I had to fill all the threads in all the nuts to make it smooth on top. I painted it once but it wasn't quite smooth so I've had to sand it all back. You can see where they've now gone a bit rusty because they're obviously wet from the rubbing down. But hopefully now when I paint them they should be completely smooth. You just have to try again and see how it goes. You can see here the join is a little bit visible on that one but it's got three or four more coats of paint to go, so that should be all right. Um, anyway, yeah, that's the first wheel. What else have we got? Um, these are now in undercoat, so they've had two coats of primer, two coats of undercoat. I'm just gonna store them now until the summer. They need a bit of rubbing down because the finish is not very good. There's drips all over, but I just wanted to get them covered and then when the weather's a bit better I'll clean them all up and smooth them flat and do the top coat because there's no real need to put them in top coat just yet um, hubs are there they just have one coat of primer need to keep it thin on here or else they won't they won't fit into the um, the actual hubs on the wheel a couple of people have asked what colour I'm actually doing the engine in. I've decided to go for the, the X Mayer Blue from Craftmaster for the wheels and the body. Um, and obviously black for all the accessories and things. I haven't decided on lining or anything like that yet. I've been using this thing which works quite well. It means you can um, leave your brushes wet and just pop them in there and then they're still wet the next day when you come to use them which saves having to clean them every five minutes so obviously you've got to do a lot of different coats of paint and you'd spend more time cleaning than you would painting this is the second wheel it's had not a full coat of primer yet I've had to put a bit more filler on in places so that one's all going to be rubbed down and done again because it just wasn't smooth enough Yeah, each rub down takes quite a long time, so that's why there hasn't been much progress. Well, that and the absence of a third kit, but that should be coming soon. So there's the tender, still pretty much the same as last time you saw it, probably. With a difference, perhaps all the beading is filled. So that's got to be sealed on the inside with the isoflex, and then painted on the outside but I don't want to do that until I can get all the accessories on there because there's obviously a lot of holes that the isoflex is going to come out of so there's that will be a row of rivets for the the man's down floor and then there's other things for um, level taps and the injector feed Thank you.
there we go, that's another wheel with another coat of paint on. And the hubcaps as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for the rest. And I'll see you next time, hopefully with another unboxing. Bye.